What's up guys, Go here and welcome back to a brand new season on FC24. We are here for season 8. We are going to see if we get any brand new footies content or if there's still a bit more Euros content for EA2 release. We're going to dive straight into things. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video a like, rating, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And with that being said, let's go see what we get for season 8. So then, here we go. We've got one more day of Path to Glory. Now, we may be seeing... A brand new Euros promo in terms of team of the tournament. Or on Friday, EA could just go straight into footies. It depends what they want to do. But we're going to check out the new season. We're going to obviously check out rewards in foot champs because they might have changed. But season 8 is here and footies is here. So season 8 is here with a refreshed ladder rewards including packs, footies player items and more. Basically earn XP as we always do. So we are starting off with obviously a lot of packs from good packs as well and then our first player at level 5 94 Fabinho this is a card I love obviously as a Liverpool fan 4 plus play styles on him which is really really good so super excited by that we then roll into Dries Mertens at level 7 Retin comes in at level 9 Again, these cards look really good. We've also got premium chemistry on Fabinho and on Dries Mertens. Sadly, not on Retin. Uh, I'm not really too sure why she doesn't, but hey-ho, it is what it is. We then get Udogi coming in for a really, really good card in at level 12. This card actually looks really fun to use. Diani, again, another upgrade on a card that she had. So that is going to be a very usable card in at level 14. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, 96 rated. Four play styles on him. Again, a fantastic card on that. And then level 20 is Ansu Fati. Again, a card that we've not had a major special card of this year. But again, some nice plus play styles on him. And again, at 96 rated, is very good. Then we move into 97 rated territory. 97 Rashford to start things off in at level 22. And um, obviously, as we go along, there's plenty of packs. But these packs aren't anything too spectacular unless there's something at the end. So obviously, that's when we'll look at these. Um, but he is going to be 5-star, 4-star. Can play as a left mid, left wing, and a striker. This card is fantastic. Oberdorf coming in. She obviously has some decent play styles. The only problem is she's five foot nine, But... She wouldn't be too bad in all honesty. Pace shooting a little bit disappointing, so obviously may need to improve them. We then get lots of packs in between level 25 and level 30. 98 Atana Bonmati. Again, this card is upgraded on her team of the season version, but still is a fantastic card. 90s in all, apart from physical, but again. A very, very good card in at level 32. Level 35 is an 84 times 20. And then we get our first icon footies, which I think this card design looks fantastic. 98 Grincha. This card looks unbelievable. Sadly, only one silver play style in shooting, which is really unusual. But his passing, his dribbling is fantastic. His physicals are pretty good. This card is absolutely unbelievable. Dead Eye probably wouldn't even work in all honesty. A basic is probably the best thing for him. Can play as a centre forward and a right wing and a right mid, which is very nice. We get an 86 times 11 pack coming in, an 87 times 5 pack. And then our first officially released 99 rated card. Obviously, we've had Vert, we've had Van Dijk. We're going to have more 99 rated cards. But Erling Haaland, 5 star, 5 star. This card is absolutely fantastic. I'd possibly look at putting an engine on him just to literally boost out every stat. But... This card would be fantastic. Again, some pretty nice um, playstyle pluses. Not a lot of playstyles on him, though. But, either or, it is what it is. That is a very nice set of season rewards. Obviously, we've also got a footies Alex Scott that we'll be able to get. I don't know why she's coming in as a Europa League card. Clearly, EA haven't added it in the design yet. But, she will be coming in. Footies Dirk Kaut and footies Alawiran. So... By basically completing all of these bits of XP, EA are allowing you over the next 40 days to get, what, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000. So you're probably looking about, I don't know, six, 7,000 XP just from doing all of these, which I think is really, really good. Again, play 30 games with obviously a lot of the um, footies cards, but I think it's worth it in all honesty because that footies Alawiran is absolutely phenomenal. So footies content is here. 
and I am all for it. It'd be interesting to see if he do a um, team of the tournament tomorrow or it is just purely going to be, obviously, the best of the best sort of thing. Um, in terms of SBCs, we've also had, I will quickly show this, um, we had Declan Rice released last night, obviously, for England winning against the Netherlands. Where is he? We got, as I say, a brand new player SBC for Declan Rice and International Stars. It's an 86 and an 87 rated team. Sadly, nothing too much better than his team season he already had, just plus ones on everything. Nothing new in terms of extra play styles as well, which is unusual, but hey-ho. Uh, and then we'll go check out foot champs because supposedly these rewards have meant to have been changed. Now, I don't know if they will have. By the looks of things, they haven't as of yet. But that's not to say that EA will update them at some point. Hopefully, they do. What we can do, though, is claim our rival rewards. And we are going to open our team season play pick. And we'll open the team season pack because why not? So, Division 1 rivals claimed. I don't know if we go down to Division 2 or not. I'm not too sure. But our 94 or 92 plus pick, one of four, is... Do you know what? I'll take Angel Di Maria. I think I haven't read already, but... That is quite a nice card. We will absolutely take that. And um, by the looks of things, I think that is pretty much it. Uh, we also get obviously a Tifo, cheers EA. That is uh, just what we need. And yeah, we have been relegated back down to Division Two, which is absolutely fine. And then we've got that 92 at times three pack. Hopefully, it is going to be good for us. If EA can give me an absolutely massive blue, that would be nice. It is going to be Spanish centre mid to start off with. Is that Tarna Bomati? Patrick Guro. Ah, oh, EA. Of course you had to do that. Of course. Sadly, we also get Mateo in there as well, so some pluses. But cards that we didn't have already. Hopefully you guys got good Division Marvel rewards. Who do you want to use in the brand new season? For now, that's where we're going to leave it for today. I'm out. Peace.